I guess it's a fair thing to start your video off at Starbucks. It is currently freezing degrees out. 32 degrees. I thought up. Michael brought uh, Renee's car out and we we're headed to the strip. All right, we made it in. It's probably my favorite car here so far. You can tell we got the sun and everything. So having said that, uh, give yourselves a round of applause for being here. It's all about Woo! racing time. Really. Racing time is the hottest you guys are here to, to, to take care of things. So. Uh, all right, guys, we are all checked in. We got a frosty Ferrari. That thing. So many, just so much to see. Ground racing, so much shit. I got my letters. All right, gate should be open in any second to start doing. Oh, over there's a taxi. They're giving ride-alongs in that thing. We're gonna try and get in that later. Check out this Camaro. I don't even know if you can call it a Camaro anymore. Holy shit. That is ridiculous. Check this thing out. No nitrous, no turbo. Like a methanol, naturally aspirated. Very cool. Caddies. Mm, that E85 smells so good. This is gorgeous. I really like that white one. Yeah, I think that white one's my favorite. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> there was someone else that was looking for you. wanted a stock one for us. Oh, no, that wasn't me then. Alright, guys, we're out here. We're numbered up. Air pressures are checked. That's a good angle. Testing, testing. Say hi. <laughs> All right, guys, we are, this is a IS38 E85, I think. GTXL, E85, sensors, the whole nine. We are uh, about to go get in line for the half mile. Kind of nervous, excited. Should be an exciting day. I'm really curious as to what I'll trap. They say you, you gain about 30 mile an hour from the quarter to the half. So if that's the case, I trap 109. So 30 mile an hour would be 140, but I don't think I'll hit that. 132, 32 is my lucky number, as a lot of you guys know. So if I can hit 132, I'll be happy. We got the draggy, um, all charged up, ready to go. GoPro in the front. So uh, hoping we can beat our quarter mile time. That would be great. Um, but first and foremost, we want to see 132. 140 would be extra dope and uh, see if we can beat our 12.44 quarter mile. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Aubrey here. He's the one that invited me to this event and one of the guys that uh, was supposed to be with our group of Audis down here, he had to bail. So I wound up buying his ticket and uh, um, at an event that I never thought I'd be able to go to. Cause it's just never convenient or in my area. So. Shout out to Aubrey. This is dope ass Vegas yellow EQT tune car. God, there's so many cool cars here. Oh this guy with his 
hood off. I need to get a, a video of that. I don't know, maybe it's not him. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. I think we take a left here, buddy. All right, we are all set on the screen. Up here in line, nice Gallardo up there. Check that out. Some bikes. There's that uh, new BMW. Zoom kind of sucks. It's cool to see him take off though. I am so stoked right now. It is like ape shit. This is like the coolest shit ever. <laughs> you ready, buddy? Hell yeah! This is awesome. I need to put my helmet on. Wow. This is so cool. So first one run went decent. I spun off the line, I had traction full off. You know, it's 36 degrees out and I had 38 pounds of air pressure on my tires. I wasn't sure how the tires would be at that speed on this surface. So I left them fully aired up. I just aired them down to 32. Like I said, I did spin off the line. I cut like a one point or a 2.160 foot. So there's that, but a trap, my goal, like I said, was 132. We trapped 135. And I didn't even manually shift, so I think the lower tire pressure, a good launch, and uh, manually shifting. Maybe we can get close to 140, which is my high end goal for the day. So we'll see. I'm going to, uh, yeah, this is just this is just awesome. <laughs> and there we go. We've got Bryce lined up. In the new dude. Stop. They're letting the little focuses go first. All right, back to the real shit. Got on speed. <laughs> 135 and other S3 was on the brakes pretty hard. Here's Bryce's other friend. Another older generation S3. speed or not there we go okay yeah 
didn't have that gold. Wouldn't that have hurt you? Like the wind would be able to keep it. All right, guys, we're going up for our third run. Run number two was not great. I spun my rear spun. I wish you guys could see the video or a video. My rear actually spun, so I let that was at well, the air pressure went. I know you can feel the difference in the tires now, Jesus. I heard them all four down to 30 pounds. So hopefully that fixes it. And I'm going to go in the left lane instead of the right lane this time to see if that helps at all as well. But that second one, first run I did almost 136 and that second run was 133. So we're going to try and uh, see what we can do here. I'll do a little launch control here. And my draggy didn't work the last run either for some reason. So. Yeah. You're good to go whenever you want. Thank you. Do a launch control. No, I'm not on the black yet. See, why won't it launch like that over there? It launches fine here, and then you get up here and it freaking spins. So. Both, both the first passes were in the right lane. So we'll try this left lane and hopefully it'll, it'll help. We're racing the same car again as last time. The, the S3 is telling me to go on up. I wish I could tilt this more so you guys can see about as far out as I can go. Here we go. I'd really like to see my quarter mile time lower. That would be like ideal. There we go. There we go. All right. Remember to shift. There we go. Come on, baby. All right. 
way. All right, good shift so far. We're just gonna hold this one out. We're not even gonna shift. Woo! Success! 1982, quarter mile, 1257, so we didn't beat it, but it's still good. Woo, yeah, letting the air out of the tires definitely helped on the launch. I need to shift a little bit quicker though. We'll have to get that, uh, that sheet right there. See how that looks. Woo! Guys, this half mile stuff is really cool. If you ever get the opportunity, I definitely recommend. This is a lot of fun. I really like it. Hell yeah. a little bit better look at this uh this wagon three pedal v look at that dump and then we notice this it's the inlet for the turbo it's a rear mounted turbo setup on this thing how cool is that oh yeah and it is a manual so that's even more badass that is sick Import versus domestic. <laughs> yeah. Not World Cup finals, but I mean, it's half mile stuff. It's kind of cool, I guess. Can't really get past that porta potty. I don't know how far I can actually go up right here. So we're just kind of playing it safe so we can actually be up here. We got 204 though. That one looks, what is that, 135? I'm pretty sure it was on the brakes. There we go. Like, were they going to do a few runs or what? Oh, no. I'm not sure. How the fuck are you getting better sitting here? Start on that one, but we'll see what they got. Camaro missed the gear down there 149, 117. Well, if you uh, look in the background, you can actually see the guys coming back around.
All right. Okay. Well, we're gonna ride along in the C7 Grand Sport, car 143. It's a friend of mine from Abilene. Looks pretty basic from the outside. It's got, it's got a little bit of stuff done to it. I believe it is pro-charged. Oh, look at that, we're having a, a mini, a pit bike race in the middle of the, the pit area. That's dope. This car already went 193. A little boo boo on the track. Got a little sideways. Don't know anything about that. GTR. It's nice to have money. I'm so sick of being broke. Oh, look. That scooter is faster than this fucking C7. Believing in the power of friendship, we'll beat it. But yeah, those guys are. How much did burn out? All right, come down, come down upon the board. No. I don't know. I drive an Evo. You can't even turn the wheels. Go, Vince, because you're gonna fucking try to run you down. I'd be like Gary was back in the day. I'd be fucking everything. But I mean, I just wouldn't get with him. Oh shit, Godzilla! Gojira! Let's see what this Addy's about to do. No. Maybe practice lunch. 
watching. Oh, no, it's not. oh there it goes. Oh, look at the log. I didn't know about this. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but I remember your bush patrol really didn't respond. You're a loon again. It felt faster. Got to set up the computer for this uh, vet. It looked really good. It sounded good. I was surprised when I saw it. I think that's one of the 9 liter Vipers right there. One of the Cowboy Motorsports. Oh, there goes another one right there. Yeah, it's probably with IATs, bro. Alright. We're back at it again. There we go, we're making moves now. <laughs> kind of really for a different corner. Oh, he doesn't want to get smoked by an old school. Oh shit, money. Oh, I didn't watch that race. Should have watched it. Oh well. Okay. No, they want to run together. How about this? Yeah, These guys are racing. You want to race that 2 JZ swapped uh, truck? Uh, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to have you wait, have them move up, and then have the truck pull next to you. Okay. Politics. Alright, so we're finally lined up, and uh, this is what we're going to be racing. The purple people eater. He says Corvettes ain't shit. He says my grandma drives one. They're just good grocery oh, getters. Right. Uh, no, so he's about to line up next to us and we're about to try to race this for. Rich ass fucking underground. Thanks! Man, yeah, fucking ass up. If I could turn this off. What's going on? Turn off! So that's what we're racing. Two Jay-Z swap Tacoma. You can just go out slow and then see if it, see if the traction control keeps it stable. Once we line up, we'll uh, return back to. No, he's trying to get him to go. Well, never mind. This guy just uh, went ahead and let one of the people, first in line, people get in. Maybe we can race one of these little uh, cute focuses. Yeah. So you can race one of those cute focuses right, real quick. Change the plans. Looks like we're going to be racing a GT350. Uh, I don't let those little puppies go. Little puppies go. Oh, there we go. We just let two of them go. I mean, it should be one, then us, and then, yeah, I know it's the fast lane, but. Alright. Battery might be dying, so we're going to try to get as much as we can, but this is what we're running. GT350, I think it's an R, it is an R. We'll be starting right here. new battery we're gonna try to maybe go walk around see what's see what's here see if anything new showed up uh, 
kind of, I think Bryce is hanging out with his homies, the, all the Audi guys that came. Uh, but check this out. This is like port, pulled port, macaroni and cheese. It's just good. All right, that's, that's all you need to know. It's just really freaking good. But having a nice little lunch break, porta potties. You know, we got some elotes, funnel cakes. There's a rock wall right there. One of the racer people. And there's like a couple little vendors here and there. I might go get Renee uh, a hoodie or something. Maybe. We'll see. But here we are. We'll uh, try to get another ride along if we can. If not, we'll just get a. Uh, Get some more videos of some cars and maybe some more photos and stuff like that. We will be back. Just want to get used to the car. He's actually got a got Casey Howard in the passenger seat. Can't tell how close this is actually getting. That's still going to be faster than that for a first pass. I don't know that I was expecting. 197. Damn. Jeez. Dallas performance next to him in the Huracan. Sounds like he's having some issues. I think it was a Huracan. Let's see what we got. 238 and 202. Oh. Did he play he's going that fast? 169 for Christopher. Got the taxi Hellcat and another Hellcat. Garage Hellcat. Those flags down there, that's the finish line. Those three flags. 150, 164. 164, 9 for Mark HD Jones, 150 points. That's a good race right there. Come on, get around them. Henry against Supercharger action there, and James also is the president of the High Ramp Club. I don't know if anyone was aware of that. that 163, bad. 161, that was a close race. Speed-wise. 163-2 for the GT500, James of the 160. All right, I think we have Bryce coming up right now. Oh, here we go. Bryce out front. Doing pretty good. His buddy from Houston, I believe, and the other S3. And almost there. Get across the finish line. All right, what do we got? Not too bad. 133. Both of them. Wait for the mile an hour. Pop up here, my screen. There it is. 133. Five for Bryce. Good job, Bryce. Four, pretty close to the car. Been about the 211. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's good. I didn't zoom in on that one. Shit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Go! Clean and spicy. The car's a little faster than the zoom is. 226. 1800 horsepower. 26.02 miles an hour. UGR, climb it up. Oh, shit. I'm trying to zoom in. See those German bananas flying around the NSX. Uh, looks like he. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Don't worry. Looks There's like no he let off of it again. No quality here. I'm just making stuff up. NSX 145.0, 98.9 for Aubrey in the Audi S3. James, the president of the High Ramp Club. There it is. against Christopher in the ZX10R. Holy shit! Catch up though. Spicy fast. No. Love it. That's the extra spicy version. That thing was cooking. Mile an hour coming up for both of them. So oh. Oh. <laughs> you got an A90 Super. Focus already. Come on, focus. It's so fast. Exhausting. So maybe she upgraded. That's cool. No, it's gone forever. Now she's BMW Super. Mile an hour. 141. That'd be a good race for Bryce. 141.3. Gotta like that. Al Lopez. Camaro S. S. Up against none other than. 
Alright, so this is the, the ride along car we were in, the C7. It is a Grand Sport. It is Pro Charge, well, a Novi 2200X. <coughs> With some pretty nice stuff. Mix over a thousand horsepower. Having a little bit of issue at top end where the kind of boost just drops down to 6 psi, but I mean, it's still trapped 151. It's a nice car. Alright, let's go find Bryce. All right, boys, we are going back up in line. No idea what we're going to be up against, but um, now we unplugged the racing line box. So we're going to see, like I said, I have multiple theories about that box. I think it does make you faster, but only under very strict circumstances. And I, I haven't been able to get below like a 185 60 foot since I plugged that thing back in. So I think it might be actually messing with my launch as well. So we're gonna do a couple of runs. I'm gonna do this run. I'm gonna launch at 3,000 RPM on this run. And then we're, we'll hot lap it and we'll, we'll launch at 4,000 RPM and we'll compare both those runs to our last runs. And the only real variable is gonna be that it's a little bit warmer now, but I mean, 48 degrees, don't mind all my dust. It's Texas. Versus uh, earlier this morning, it was 36. So, I mean, the DA has gone up a bit, but uh, I don't know. It'll be, the data will be in the 60 foot for the most part is, is what I want to see. All right, we are uh, going up against the McLaren. Like I said, we unplugged the racing line box. So this will be interesting. <laughs> You're going down, buddy. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're not racing the McLaren, we're racing this Z06, so it should be good. Oh, I thought he was... Maybe we'll just race this Gallardo instead. <laughs> Everybody keeps... the line keeps fucking up. Alright. second slower without the racing line box that is super interesting I also did a lower launch though but I don't think that would have mattered Wow that is not the data I expected to see and all honestly 2.0760 foot I don't remember what my best was earlier. Maybe a 1.9. Yo, I had that guy for a second, though. <laughs> I'm funny. All right, guys. Hot lapped. Well, not really hot. I got a couple minutes, but... Do a 4,000. the super they really got me on the top end Whew. yeah still 20 seconds wow so there you go the data's there the racing line box helps and I could turn around and do one more just to confirm Very interesting. Wonder what my 60 foot was there. 
2.01. Why I can't get a good 60 foot on this surface today. Guys, that uh, that concludes our day. Somebody pulled down the track. Didn't need to go back up for a final run, but had a lot of fun. So uh, 135 with the Racing Line PCM to hang out with my friends, eat some great tacos, and uh, see some fast cars. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the football.